just figured I'd give you a little bit of a, um, um, a visual on the approach to that staircase. So this is what it looks like coming from the, uh, the automobile, so down the road and then, and this is, um, we, we got this thing up Thursday, so anyways, there it is right there, you approach it from the street. got this up Thursday, the platform, uh, two platforms, the bridge, platform and the roof platform. So that's what it looks like. It's a uh, um, platform there, staircase, all the treads, and then platform to the roof. So anyways, we finished it. Um, setting it it's still got to be bolted and then we still got to level it up and um gusseting gusseting underneath um now i'll show you quick i'll show you what it looks like and um anyways that's that free floating edge so station just a couple of four buys we got to get out uh, my dad wants to save the template so I'm gonna put it inside the house because I'm gonna reuse that to plasma cut out the siding the siding is a, a 14 gauge uh, I'm sorry 16 gauge uh, sheet material that that's gonna get around the sides of this um, we gotta get around the size of this tool and push up to the to the facade wall facade. So we're gonna use that as a template. And I'll just plasma cut out the same pattern and push it on there, and that's gonna save a ton of work. So hold on, I'll just take you up quick so you can you can see how it lined up. And, and then we, you know we put this we put this column in yesterday, and it's gotta be notched, and then we're gonna bolt through so you. I'll show you. Anyways, while I'm at this house at height, I just wanted to show you the, the line of the stairs. So, I mean, it came out pretty straight. Uh, this one stair thread up near the top, we gotta just tweak it a little bit because uh, when we were bolting it up, we just wanted to get it secured. So we put, we put the bolts in for it, but we still have to put two more bolts in for it. So as we were tightening it up, we kind of, Twist it down just a smidgen so but I gotta put drill some more holes today I'm gonna straighten it back out but anyways that's that's what it is in the platform to all the way steps um, to platform that's what it looks like from the side and so anyways let me go up the rest of the way and you know we brought we brought this plywood up here because we're returning that well Monday that's it no more lull here all the heavy stuff is up and then so we put this lift here this is all the plywood for this floor but we, you know we stuck it out of the way we got to put sleepers all on this floor this floor gets raised up only in the floor area and then because we have a five foot wide deck that halfway down here that goes out and around so it's deck and that needs to pitch a quarter inch per foot so five feet is five quarters so um, so we have an inch and a half to get pitched back so because it's a sleeper a sleeper deck and we're gonna rub a roof underneath so the water can drain off that deck so anyways some details down the road so there's a float floating edge of a stair you know we 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 set this base plate um, on top here but we still got to do um, some adjustments and we we set some bolts here um, to secure it so it's secured while we while we adjust it and then you know I got to drill some more holes and then we got to do some welding some more welding 
Um, then we gotta we gotta notch this. This gets notched out two inches, and then that gets pushed in, and then that base plate gets drilled and welded. And uh, we got one we got one one here, but we still gotta drill another one here. I mean, there's still a lot of work to do here. There's a lot of gussing we gotta make, and web web stiff uh, flange stiffness on the back side, but we still gotta drill and adjust and. So what we do is we drill and we drill it all out and adjust it by bolts. And then once everything is where it belongs, um, then we come along and tack. And then after we tack and things are solid where they belong, then we can come along and perm it or weld everything. That's, the, that's how we sequence things. So, so we, get it, we get the proper adjustment and alignment. So anyways, here's that free edge. Temporary strap because this is just see now when we go to level it up We'll just we'll just crank on this strap a little bit. It's just gonna go up just a little little bit so This we through bolted and that goes right through the the, um, the web of the of the I-beam and that's you know Then we'll come in later and I gotta clean up all the oil from drilling and we'll put some wells all the way down around Everything's gonna get locked in solid it it's solid now and there's only a couple bolts on it. So, and then we set that platform. I think we did this Friday, so this is all set. A couple of good tack bolts. And now uh, we're using three quarter inch erection bolts. I mean, these things could hold up, you know, an elephant could hold up a staircase. So, but anyways, we like to make it secure. So, then there's a handrail. Later on, after the roof is done, there's a handrail that goes around the perimeter. And this is a tapering roof. Everything tapers to a, a main roof drain, which then drains down into a sister and underneath the first ground floor deck. And then after we have the tapering roof, and later on, it comes with a floating um, pedestal level floor. So we, we re-establish a level floor on top of a pitched floor. Um, Anyway, so we got this lift up of plywood because, you know, we're returning the low. And then actually this is what we're going to start doing next after that's all, after the staircase is all uh, welded and secured and we're so we'll jump onto the roof, get this roof going, get it weather tight, and then we'll start the walls. So we brought this lift up here, it's ready for the plywood to be placed. We're gonna shoot the uh, we're gonna shoot the exterior down, healthy shoot it down, ramp set it down, and uh, we'll probably end up screwing all this. will get glued and screwed. That's tonguing roof three quarter inch. So that's pretty much it. I mean that's it for now. And then that other bridge will do that bridge, and then that ties into the uh, a roof perimeter similar to this. But over there, and that's it. That's the view from up here. There's the ocean. Uh, there's the ocean out there. And um, it's gonna be a nice day today. So very clear day. And then uh, you know the street we drove up on. That's what we just drove up here. And then there's your marsh. There's your marsh view. That, that river, that's the river that runs in through the through as the tide change the water level raises and lowers out in that marsh. Sometimes it fills in it's all ocean out there. Sometimes that's the ocean out there. So anyways that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you uh, how that staircase ended up coming out. So. And now we get to return the machine. We don't need it anymore. So. Anyways let me see if I can show you that line. There, there was the line of how those stairs all lined up, so that's pretty much it. A little bit more work and this is a memory. Take this strap out and get going on the ceiling the envelope. Access bridge, which on that floor is the master bedroom and master bath area. Then there's a, there's a staircase that comes up, and then there's a foyer out there. And then you can come into this area from the bridge, and then that 
actually the doorway is right here. So the door swings open this way for you to get up on the roof. If you want to go up on the roof. That's it. There's your living room. Then there's a deck on the exterior, living area, couch, uh, all glazing. And then um, then it jogs in. Then there's the dining room, dining room table. Um, two two uh, casement windows and then refrigerator cabinet tree and then this wall's closed off the northern side um, and then what happens is right here the cabinets um, return and in this area right here underneath the staircase there's going to be another casement window right here because we this is where the kitchen sink area, the kitchen sink is going to be right in this area. And then, so while you're doing dishes, you have the vista between the homes. You know, this one vista shot to the ocean while you're doing dishes right here. So, and then, and then this, the staircase and platform will create a um, shade for the, um, the window during, you know, the hot summer when the sun gets high in the sky and, then, you know, it'll create shade for that window, so. And then it's a little bit more cabinetry and then right in this area is a hutch that I have goes here and then um, there's going to be a center island um, breakfast area countertop and the range is going to go in here and there'll be like a range, a range hood up here and that's pretty much it couch over there that's it living room kitchen and dining that's what the addition is. Anyways, that was a um, that was a long one. So, anyways, have a good day. We'll probably make another another short video showing the gusseting, and that's about it for the staircase. But the gusseting, when I say gusseting, I mean these are braces, you know, angle braces that come up and give support to the. Um, they're gonna give support to the platform under here. They're gonna give support to the base plate for the car, uh, for the string, the stringer, and the, and then more more uh, support because we have two and a half inches. So they'll come down and come to the two and a half inch point because after that you won't see them. The, the sheathing's gonna cover it, and the stair is just gonna come out of the sheathing. So it's gonna look like they're just sticking out there. Not that they support it. That's the look. You won't see the stringer. All you see is sheet, uh, sheets of sheathing, and then and then these tubes of stair tread coming out of it. That's it. That's the, that's the detail. Anyways, have a good day, and uh, we'll we'll see you on the next video.